I came to tell you that as you live your life for 24 hours in a day, there are things that will come to wrestle the position of God away from your life. Oh, you're not aware. Your beauty can even become the attraction. And because of your beauty, there are certain kind of people attracted to you that want you to violate the laws of God. In the 24-hour day, there are things that will wake up, will stand up to contend for the position of God in your life. Yes, read. We ought to obey God rather than men. So this was Peter's persuasion. We ought to. And he was saying this in spite of the threat. He was saying this in spite of what the Sanhedrin would decide to do. Kingdom men that are locked on Jesus, they are defiant to everything that will attempt to take the place of king in their life. I'm a gentleman until something tries to take the place of Jesus in my life. Oh, Jesus Christ. I remember when I was in the oil industry. We were posted to the hinterlands to manage and to take inventory of every liter of petroleum products that comes 450 kilometers from where the depot was. This way, this way, this way, this way. 450 kilometers. I was the officer that was in charge of accounting for every liter of petrol in that radius so my manager came to my zone came to visit me he saw the work we were doing we told him our challenges he told us the policies of our establishment and the solutions they gave to us were consistent with the policies of our establishment all right we finished from the office i drove him to the hotel paid for his room ushered him there that was the best hotel room in my city that time ushered him into the city into the hotel room made food available made everything available for him i was even expecting him to say oh my god you're such a good guy i didn't know you were this good he said you have not finished your work i said he said drive to the university and go and bring ladies for me i said ah. <laughs> Hi. hallelujah so i looked at him i said when i was out oh, meanwhile that's the university i graduated from and I troubled the whole place with Jesus. I was a radical. I was mad. I told him before I got this job, I was an evangelist on this same university campus that you are sending me now. I was an established evangelist before I got this job. My status as an evangelist is superior to my presence on this job. I see the night is going to be long for you. So I have a solution for you, which is not women. That I have a big Bible. I'm going home to bring it. So he felt insulted. But you see, when it comes to my, my serve everything, even your boss in the office wants to be God. Oh, the Sanhedrin, they want to be God. Peter cleared their doubt. So just in case you, you threatened people and they did what you wanted. We serve Jesus. So he didn't say anything. When I came to pick him up the next morning, he told me, Do you know, this hotel you brought me, it's a good hotel. I didn't need to go look for the girls. The girls were here. Oh, I see. Okay. Then he left with a vow in his heart that I would never be promoted. So the first promotion season came. That's after three years. I was not promoted. Second. Yes. So I was not promoted after three years. Because of that, I'll be eligible for promotion again. In the 40th just in case huh? so that means i missed one year miss one promotion season so the next year i was supposed to be promoted my name didn't come out because he's head of our admin he's the one that signs promotion letters so they can even ask him promote seven people he will, and you he, he can promote only three he has the power to do so the chief executive of our agency, the CEO himself, came to us. So, this is what happens here. Ah, you see? Ah. So they were tackling, trying to deal with that question, and he had no answer. Then he came and called the small boy. I gave him. He didn't say anything. When he went back to the headquarters, he called that man, that, that my man. Called. He said, bring that boy's file. Then he saw that I have not been promoted for five years. He said, 
print out a promotion letter, like type a promotion letter, sign it, and bring it to me. He brought it. When he brought it and he read it, he said, mm -mm -mm, You didn't write it one. Pay him all the money that bet it for four years and pay him all his money. <laughs> so they dictated it for four years. They paid me all my money. That's how I built my house for your information. And then six months after that, because when my promotion letter came out, it was not promotion time. Because I promote people in, in January and that promotion letter came out in June. Six months later, it was promotion time again. He called that man. Say, you remember that boy? Write another letter of promotion. So, so I got two promotions in six months. I was restored to my status and they gave me all the money. They were saving money for me. Peter said, if it's about the lordship of Jesus, if it's about the government of God, we ought to obey God rather than there's a place I went to minister after ministering they gave me big money very big money and as a missionary a local missionary that I am I've not seen that kind of money one year later we received clearance never to go there again I don't want to mention the amount. One year later, and meanwhile, the place is not South Africa. So you don't know where I'm talking about. One year later, the great one will not allow us to go to where we'll get that big money. Are you there? The great one will rather want you to go. This is Jesus. He's speaking to you. He said, Don't go to that place again. He said, Lord. Good things happen there. Why shouldn't I go there? Then the Lord will not explain. You know, whenever you bring an argument and he's not talking back, just, you know what, you know what it means? Wrong question. Say, so why are you not? Good things happen there. Say, so don't go there again. So where will I go now? They so go to the other place. And that place he's sending you, no good thing is there. So life is not about good things. It's about where the will of God is. <laughs> A modern definition of iniquity would be rebellion. So even though you know what God's will is, you, you decide that I don't want it. This is what I want. And then you now end up doing what you want. You get that? A man that is not enlightened. Are you there? You will need to be enlightened in order for you to be capable of iniquity. So Jesus said, I was never intimate with him. Because that believer was not conscious, was not concerned about what God's will is. He came into ministry and he's just doing what he wants to do. Selling water. Say, yes, this water is anointed water. If you buy it, it will give you miracles. Selling soap. And then say this soap is if you use it to take your bath all your problems will finish then he comes and bring some things and he's selling to everybody now the fact that he's selling something doesn't mean god will kill him you know god is so patient hey you don't know god he's so patient i hope you know if he was not patient we too will be dead okay so he's so patient he's so patient he's so patient so but these guys never felt there was any need for them to know the will of god these guys even received resources from God and squandered it on their vanity, on their iniquity. Produced products that God cannot accept. And in the eyes of men, they were considered, they were reckoned to be men of substance. It was only when they came before the judgment seat of Christ and the appraisal was done that the status of their labor was opened for all men to see. So the safest place to be is under the reign of heaven. Can you see? Or oh, you didn't see it? That's the safe. Now, oh my God. Before I preach, not for sons and daughters like you. I don't need to ask the Lord if I'm supposed to come to you. No. The covenant of sonship guarantees that. But I'm talking about preaching somewhere else where I don't know the people, I don't know. So I will need to ask Jesus. Because the resources I'm going to expend in that place is coming from Jesus. It belongs to Jesus. It's the virtue of his death that I'm going to 
dispense in that place so i need to ask the owner are you sending me there so if i get a nod yes then it means i can use the resources i got from jesus in that place it is very easy for you not to know that those resources belong to jesus and then you are running your own show it means what you have uppermost in your mind is not to fulfill the will of god but to express your stardom in the eyes of men you might be celebrated but when you come before the judgment seat of christ there will be another matter so when you come before his judgment seat the emphasis behind the analysis behind the scrutiny is my will was it done so people that are operating under the kingdom of heaven they are living to serve the will of god they have found a new way of life and the new way of life is, is what to serve the will of now listen listen carefully to me listen carefully there's somebody in this room you visited a sangoma you visited a sangoma to seek help and you were given some some stuff and since the day you visited that sangoma you've not had peace it's even difficult for you to sleep sometimes because you've been tormented by demons it is god's will for you to be delivered tonight if you are the one i'm talking about come here that's if you want to be free you visited a sangoma they gave you some some stuff but you have not been free since that day demons how precious is the flow that makes me white as snow no water found I know nothing but the blood of Jesus. Oh, how precious is the earth that makes me white as snow. No the found I know nothing that the blood of Jesus. Listen to me. What I saw now is somebody that is bleeding. The issue of blood and you keep bleeding unnatural bleeding and i asked the lord can you show me the details of this thing he now revealed to me how that a spiritual person cursed you the manifestation of that curse became bleeding So there is a lady here that has been bleeding unnaturally. I'm waiting for you here before I begin to pray. And it's, it's just 12 seconds. If you are in this place, there's a lady bleeding. Or an unnatural type of bleeding. Okay. For 12 seconds, I'm waiting for you before I begin to pray. But the blood of Jesus if witchcraft is in your family, let that yoke be broken. Can you just pray that prayer? Let it be broken. Let it be broken. Let it be broken. Let it be destroyed. Let it be destroyed. Let it be destroyed. In the name of Jesus. Let it be destroyed completely. Completely. 
completely 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 all right in the name of jesus okay let me pray for you father tonight we come against that manipulation that comes forth from the witchcraft altar if there is anyone here that is a victim of a witchcraft altar maybe situated in the family or in the office and that one has been bound we ask that the yoke be broken we ask that the yoke be broken we ask that the yoke be broken let it be broken let it be broken let it be restored in the name of jesus in the name of jesus yes yes now you are free now you are free now you are free go in this time mind yes please stretch your hand in this lady's direction she's tied down and begin to pray begin to pray we disconnect you from the altar of witchcraft from the altar of witchcraft from the altar of witchcraft be disconnected be disconnected be disconnected be disconnected be disconnected, be disconnected. in the name of jesus Lose her. Oh my God. Come. Put your hand in. Pray. Pray in the spirit. Pray in the spirit. It's not the Lord's will for you to remain in chains. Can you bring her away from? Yes. Let the yoke break. Lose her. Oh my God. Somebody stretch your hand here. Stretch your hand to this, these ones. Begin to pray for them. 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 Ask the Lord to stretch forth his hand over them. Let the root of witchcraft, the root of witchcraft in these families, let it be dethroned. Let it be overthrown. In the name of Jesus. 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 Ice. See. Come. Trace the umbilical cord. Put your hand there. So we demand her release. We demand her release. No. Uh, Ushers, look for something. This one has a deposit. This one has a deposit. Look for a container. This one has a deposit. When we cast out the spirit, she's going to vomit. Get a container. Father, we give you praise. Let that which was taken from you be restored. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Do you have a container? Put it close to her mouth. Let me give a command. Throw them out. Come out. 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 Now listen. I see the hand of the Lord stretch forth here. But that hand that I see stretch forth is laid like this. Just the fingers laid on someone's head. This person, you have been faithful to the Lord, working with the Lord, doing his will. But your life has been on one spot. And today the Lord comes to lay his hands upon you. In the next 21 seconds, the person I'm talking about, the Lord's hand will come upon you. You will feel a shower of the glory of God from the crown of your head to the soles of your feet because the Lord wants to change your season it's changing your season it's changing your season it's changing your season just a touch on your head here a touch here all right now that I've touched you, I'm going to ask Jesus to conduct a surgery on your life. Father, in the name of Jesus, I ask that you stretch forth your hand. Break every yoke. Stretch forth your hand. Break every yoke on the life of my brothers, on the life of my sisters. Stretch forth your hand. Break every yoke. Break every yoke. Destroy every yoke. Destroy every yoke. Destroy every yoke. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Destroy every yoke. Let the fountain of that blood destroy every yoke let the fountain of that blood that is flowing let it dry up dry up dry up 
dry up in the name of Jesus. And the demon that has been hunting you. Thank you, Father. If you are still on your feet, you can go back to your seat. If you are still on your feet. Let the yoke break from her in the name of Jesus. Let the yoke break. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Oh my God. Oh my God. There's someone here that is bound with a chain. The devil has put you in captivity. And in the next 17 seconds, the chain will break. The chain will break and the demon that has been administering this bondage in your life that demon will go back to the person that sent it to you father lord in the name of jesus that one that is bound with chains in this congregation that one that is bound with chains in this congregation let the chain break let the chain break let the chain break let the chain break let it break let it break, let it break.